Morning Glory Milking Farm, Cambric Creek Sweet and Steamy Monster Romance Book One by C.M. Nascosta is a unique romantic fantasy novel set in a world where humans and monstrous otherworldly beings coexist. The protagonist of this story is Violet, a young woman who is struggling with financial issues and job insecurity in a modern-day reality tinged with mythological elements. Violet lives in a world that's much like our own, but it is inhabited not only by humans, but also by mythological creatures like fauns, goblins, and ogres, which are referred to as others. When Violet loses her white-collar job due to company downsizing, she is desperate to find a new source of income. After searching without luck, she comes across an unconventional job opportunity at the Morning Glory Milking Farm. Initially, Violet is shocked to learn that the job involves manually milking minotaurs, a task necessary since minotaurs can't handle their own overwhelming sexual needs, which can become dangerous if unattended. Overcoming her initial reservations, she decides to take the job out of sheer financial need. The minotaurs are not the savage beasts of classic mythology, but are intelligent, sensitive beings that can be gentle and kind when not overwhelmed by their biological urges. The farm provides them a service by helping them with their problem, which in turn keeps the community safe. The environment is clinical and businesslike, designed to provide relief to the minotaurs discreetly and efficiently. Working on the farm, Violet wears a uniform, and the process of milking is conducted with professionalism, accentuating that although the job is unusual, it is not demeaning or unsafe. At Morning Glory, Violet meets a range of characters, both human and other. Cynthia, the owner of the farm, is strict but fair and runs the establishment with a focus on consent and mutual benefit for both the workers and the minotaurs. Among the minotaurs, Violet feels an unexpected attraction to Rowan, one of her regulars, who is portrayed as both physically imposing and unexpectedly gentle. The connection between them goes beyond the transactional nature of their encounters. As Violet navigates her new job, she grapples with her own preconceived notions about the others and the taboo surrounding human-monster relationships. Her attraction to Rowan grows, and she finds herself looking forward to their sessions more than she anticipated. Rowan is equally taken with Violet, drawn to her compassion and strength, as well as to her individuality and willingness to look past his monstrous exterior. The two of them begin to understand that their connection may be more profound than the physical aspect of their interaction at the farm. Parallel to Violet's experiences at the farm, the story also explores her personal life, including her relationships with her roommate Alice, who takes on adventurous temp jobs, and her friend Cam, who owns a bookshop in town and offers Violet a glimpse into the daily life and struggles of a human other couple. These secondary characters and relationships serve to further establish the world in which Violet lives and the various social dynamics at play. Violet and Rowan navigate a delicate courtship, balancing the innate secrecy of Rowan's nature and their own feelings. Violet learns about the Minotaur culture and how Rowan's life as a farmer aligns with his community's values. The two bond over their shared experiences and slowly build a relationship based on trust, respect, and mutual understanding. Despite the challenges they face, they both show a willingness to defy social expectations and explore the potential of their feelings for each other. As their relationship deepens, Violet and Rowan must deal with external pressures and prejudices. Violet feels uncertain about how society will judge her association with another, especially one as stigmatized as a minotaur. She also faces an internal conflict as she questions the nature of their interactions and whether her feelings can be genuine, given the transactional origin of their relationship. Rowan, in turn, is concerned about bringing unwanted attention to Violet and the potential harm that could come from their interspecies relationship. Amidst these concerns, Violet and Rowan's affection for each other blossoms into a full-fledged romance. Violet's commitment to embracing Rowan's true self becomes evident in the way she adapts her life to include him. The two ultimately find ways to publicly acknowledge their relationship, although they do not declare it openly due to the potential backlash. Towards the end of the book, an incident at the Morning Glory milking farm tests Violet and Rowan's relationship. A group of activists who oppose the farm's practices stages a protest, 
leading to a confrontation. Rowan is present during the upheaval, and he steps in to protect Violet, reinforcing the depth of their bond and his willingness to defend her against external threats. In the aftermath of the incident, the relationship between Violet and Rowan is no longer just a private affair. They realize they must face the world together and contend with whatever opinions or obstacles come their way. They also recognize the importance of advocating for change in societal views toward relationships like theirs. Ultimately, Violet and Rowan decide to commit to each other, understanding that their path will not be easy. The book ends on a hopeful note, with the couple choosing love and acceptance over prejudice and division. Morning Glory Milking Farm presents a message about the power of love to transcend boundaries and the courage to challenge societal norms for the happiness one finds in truly connecting with another being, regardless of their origins. The story closes, setting the stage for further exploration of their relationship and the broader acceptance of humans and others in subsequent books of the Cambert Creek series. Violet's journey from apprehension to embrace within her unexpected line of work parallels her personal transformation and growth as she opens her heart to Rowan and the possibilities of a future with him. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.